showing my Nissan Pathfinder Stealth Camper build. And you might know I got a Jackery battery bank for it. And I have plans of running a small refrigerator for that, but needed to get me additional power that's not relying just on the battery. So today we're gonna to be going over the 100 watt panel that I just got from Renegy. And we're gonna be connecting that to the Jackery using the solar ends heavy duty connector. So the panel itself came pretty protected. Uh, it didn't have excess bubble wrap, but it did have these um, styrofoam boards to protect the corners to ensure that there's enough gap between the cardboard. And there's absolutely no damage, no signs of damage during shipping. Alright, yeah, so we definitely needed this uh, solar ends adapter since uh, this is two separate pins and that's not compatible with the, the jackery since that's just one circular plug. I got is part number RNG 100 DSS. Feel free to pause the video if you want to review the specs. be pretty straight forward self-explanatory negative goes to black and positive goes to red and it converts this panel to the port that's the uh, same style for the, the jackery plugs for the 240 should be the same exact plug for the um, 500 and the 1000 as well as you see the um, wiring that came with the panel is not very long it's about five feet long with the adapter so if you are planning on mounting this uh, panel on your roof and then having the uh, jackery in, in the vehicle, you are definitely going to need some sort of extension harness for this. All right, so overall width is a little over 42 inch, like 42 and a quarter. Overall length is exactly 20 inches. Overall depth is an inch and a half so 42 and a quarter by 20 by an inch and a half in case you want to measure your roof as far as the mounting points it didn't come with any brackets but uh, i guess we'll just have to make our own there's plenty of mounting holes though that are pre-drilled so a few main reasons why I didn't go with the Jackery 100 watt panel. Uh, the first one's the cost. It cost almost $300. This Renergy panel with the adapter cable uh, is less than $100. So there's a huge price difference. Second main reason is the Jackery one doesn't claim to be weatherproof. I think it's like water resistant, but it's meant for you to unfold it and stand it up on the grass or lay it on your dashboard while you have it plugged to the jackery so it's not really a permanent hard mounted one this Renogy panel i've seen people mount this on top of their rvs or their roofs so i know that it withstands weather better than the jackery unit um, and 
since this is meant to be hard mounted, it does have the holes, the mounting holes that I, I was talking about earlier. So the jack reel one, I can't just unfold it on the roof and hard mount it. Like there's nowhere to drill on the back of it or uh, mount a bracket onto it. It's gonna be a relatively sunny day in a few hours. So we're gonna test out how efficiently this thing charges the battery bank. Just to give you some perspective on how much draw it takes for a MacBook Pro and an iPhone 10 to be charging off the Jackery at the same time. It is about 24, occasionally 25, 24 to 25 watts draw. You'll see that there's an input here of zero. Let's hope that the uh, Renogy 100 watt panel plugged up to this uh, will outpace the output. As you see, it actually snowed some this morning in Virginia, and it's not exactly the sunniest of days, but we're still gonna test it out. So we're just gonna set this out here on the table, on the deck. Hopefully it gets enough sunlight today. It is currently eight o'clock in the morning, and the Jackery's starting with 75% charge. Uh, it's still showing zero input. We will come back in three hours and see if that changes when it is sunnier out. And it's still relatively cloudy outside, but the uh, charge rate's finally starting to go up. Uh, it's currently at 13%, or uh, sorry, 13 watts, and the battery charges at 81%. I have a suspicion that it just started um, charging, that it's getting lighter out. The sun is coming out now. All right, just for testing purposes, I put the panel direct sunlight just to see if the charge rate ch changes. And it's currently at 47 watts, 88% battery life. So it's definitely a lot more efficient with direct sunlight. It's only been 10 minutes and it already changed to 91% and charging at 62 watts. So the Jackery is back up to 100% charge. It only took about 30, 40 minutes to go from 88% to a full 100% charge. So with the panel in direct sunlight, it'll average between 45 to 67 watts of uh, uh, charge rate. And when it's really cloudy out, you'll see as low as five, seven, um, all the way up to maybe 14 watts on a really cloudy day. So it really depends on how sunny it is outside. It could charge this thing from zero to 100% in a matter of five to six hours. With that being said, I would consider this a really good alternative to the $300 Jackery panel, uh, considering this cost me less than $100, including the adapter. If you wanna give it a shot, I will include links in the description for both items, including the Jackery. I'm going to be doing some further testing with this solar panel and battery bank combo. Um, I just got a refrigerator for the Nissan Pathfinder Stealth Camper build that I'm using this thing for. So we are going to do some further testing with the um, charge rate and draw from the refrigerator. What I'm hoping is this uh, 50, 60 watt uh, charge rate is going to outpace the refrigerator running full time since um, it should only turn on periodically, but we will find out on the next video. So if you are interested in checking this out, my further testing with this product, stay tuned and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.